Number 10. The Lions quiet so far in the fourth. We mentioned a couple of touchbacks in the game. That's because kicker Jack Morgesi got leg. Morgesi making the 50-yarder look easy as the score is 41-32. Number 9. Closing seconds of the first half. Daniel DeGenaro rolls out and heaves it downfield. Who has it? Jeremy DeCaro does. It's a touchdown for St. Joe Matuchin. Just 20 seconds left on the clock. DeCaro from 38 yards, his second TD of the half. Take another look at this beauty. St. Joe Matuchin with a 17-14 lead at the half. Number eight. But Kenya Massey not impressed. Ensuing kickoff after getting touchback after touchback, Massey finally gets to field one and didn't blink. Find space, and you already know where he's headed to the crib. Kenyon Massey hopes it 99 yards to answer right back. Pope John ends the quarter with a field goal to lead 31 13 at the break. Number seven. This was a defensive battle all night long. Nazir Flack goes deep down the field, but Derek Barry comes down with an incredible interception for Penn Salkin. Take another look as Barry brings it down and gets both feet in. Great play there from the junior. Number six. We had fireworks right out of the gate. First play from scrimmage for RFH. Owen O'Toole throws a dart to Jackson Gallagher. He shakes one defender, turns up field, and he's got another defender missing. Jackson Gallagher's got wheels. He's gone, 92 yards. The RFH dog pound is going bonkers. Number five. Still in the second, the Lions looking for more. Siebert throws it up to Joey McDonald. Tight coverage, but McDonald somehow comes down with it. What a play from the senior. A 20-yard touchdown catch. That's four TD tosses for Jake Siebert. Gloucester all over Overbrook, up 34-7 at the half. Number four. Alex Arecchio is going to roll to his right. He throws a pass into no man's land. But hold on, Ronan Mullady grabs the deflection. He's gone, 51 yards to the house. That sucks the air out of the stadium at Northern Highlands. Mullady's second touchdown grab of the night makes it 21-0 Old Japan here at the break. Number three. 95th minute, Hermits with another corner. Chekinekio serves it up, and Ryan Wayan delivers for a golden goal. What a finish to this one as Ryan Wayan gives St. Augustine a thrilling win to open the season. 2-1 is your final in double overtime. Number two. But Achilles DuPont of Paramus Catholic letting you know on PC's next touch, don't get too hyped. DuPont wrapped up somehow spins out past the defense. And before you know it, look out, he's loose. Achilles DuPont with one of the best runs you'll see all season goes 73 yards with 44 seconds to spare. After one, the Paladins trail 21-7. And the number one play of the week. Two minutes later, Arecchio fires downfield for Brooks, who somehow makes this catch. Whoa! Evan Brooks holds it in with one hand and takes a massive shot that sent his helmet flying. This was no doubt his best grab of the night. Brooks makes a statement.